today i wanted to discuss about the a concept what i call as the curry belt now in the while observing the uh, the health crisis all over the world is unfolding about this uh, virus and all uh, one of the f- uh, strange things that i noticed is that uh, certain countries have escaped very lightly and uh, these countries they didn't uh, uh, have so few deaths just because they had a fantastic healthcare system or disciplined population or anything like that actually the this curry belt uh, countries are uh, quite overpopulated and poor countries and uh, they it is really an odd uh, develop uh, observation like a development now uh, you may think what is this curry belt i define the uh, curry belt as the area that is uh, where the cuisine is based on uh, ancient principles of ayurveda and uh, ayurveda as you may know it's a very advanced medical system of uh, this uh, hinduism and uh, india and uh, it was uh, conceived and developed by our rishis in the ancient times and uh, it is time tested for thousands of years now uh, this type of uh, food that is this uh, ayurvedic uh, based foods they are consumed one is all over the indian uh, all over india sri that includes sri lanka and then uh, places where this uh, dharmic civilization is there that is uh, dharmic civilization means uh, say burma nepal and uh, this thailand and uh, indonesia and all these type of countries where they have this lot of spices in their food and these spices are not just randomly mixed up there's a science behind it to control the seasonal uh, fluctuations of the weather in the wet season you need drying spices in the cold season you need warming spices in the hot season you need cooling spices and uh, this one this little vessel is a is essential for any uh, any indian uh, cooking that is mustard coriander dry chili turmeric most important and then cumin fenugreek and some dal and all these things so having all these in la uh, plenty in your food it's already there built into our uh, indian cuisine whether you take gujarat or bengal or northern kashmir or down to kerala all are using these ingredients and uh, generously at least a couple of teaspoons of uh, this turmeric powder and cumin and all go into any indian meal that any housewife is making and that has uh, given us a natural uh, immunity boosting substances whatever the phytochemicals and all what the science calls as the micronutrients all those you get in a healthy dose in every meal and uh, i think that is one of the reason why uh, this virus has uh, not that affected india that much as what would one would expect uh, with for a country with 1 and 1/2 billion people living in cramped places and atrocious uh, public health care and all that it's our traditional ayurvedic wisdom is what that has helped us and most of the grandmothers in this country are small time physicians themselves they have so many home remedies and recipes all hereditary based on their uh, on this ayurvedic principles once again so let's not underestimate uh, what we have inherited and what is our real wealth and blindly ape uh, other people